Hello everyone, jean Rock here for another test of Chinese LEDs uh, especially looking at their uh, behavior near threshold voltage and this is to point out that the actual power output of uh, light output of an LED has nothing to do with how it behaves near its threshold voltage so uh, to demonstrate this I'm using 24 identical LEDs, these are 8mm half a watt units made in China, cheapest I could find obviously uh, packaged like crap, the package actually got some uh, I don't know, acid drops on it or something the postman almost couldn't read the address but they survived, all of them, all 100 of them and I put 24 on this breadboard, breadboard sorry, for your viewing pleasure now, uh, a bit about the camera I'm using. I have set it to extremely high ISO. We are actually in a dark room. This is ISO 12800. And I'm using the very slow shutter speed of 1 ATF of a second. Uh, as the light output increases, I will reduce the ISO, obviously. Um, but this allows me to not have to use a flashlight like I did in my first video. So now that you see the the LEDs, uh, just a bit about the power supply. I'm using yet another Chinese wonder uh, boost DC DC regulator, which has a small trimmer on it that will allow me to adjust the voltage that goes into the LED extremely precisely. So without further ado, let's power this on. Now, as you can see, only a few LEDs start emitting some light and then again, not very much of it. I mean, at this point, with the naked eye, you can barely see the ones on the top right corner starting to, to emit some light. But uh, the ones on the top left corner, the two LEDs that you can see here, well, those actually you can see any light coming out of them with the naked eye. Only the camera is sensitive enough to, to show you that. Now what I'm going to do is slowly increase the voltage to give you a better idea of what happens when you get past the threshold voltage. So here I'm on the trimmer and let's go. Oops, I ripped. Um, now, as you can see, at this point, all the LEDs are near or past their threshold voltage. And here, it looks very bright, but it's only because we are at very high ISO. Now, at this point, we are just above threshold voltage. The LEDs, uh, actually, you can look at them with the naked eye and not feel any pain at all. I mean, they look even less bright than your typical red or yellow LED that you'd use as an indicator. I'm going to reduce the ISO and try to give you a feel of what it actually looks like to the naked eye. So I'm matching this with my viewfinder. Let's see. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, here we go. So this is, is ISO 2000 and that's what it looks like. I mean, you could really look at this for, I don't know, hours on end and not feel any pain. This is not what you'd consider lighting, but at this point you can already see that the LEDs are all outputting the same amount of light. If you see any small variation, it's only because these LEDs are not all uh, pointing straight at the camera, some are a bit crooked. I mean, you know how breadboards are. But let me assure you, they all emit the same amount of light. Now what I'm going to do is reduce the ISO a bit further because I'm going to pump the voltage as far as it will go without frying the LEDs. 
what is what I call nominal conditions. Okay, now let's get on this small trimmer and okay, here we go, voltage increase. At this point it's not yet painful, you can look at this. And here we go, at this voltage you are starting to light up the room. Now obviously all you see on the camera is a big white blob. I'm going to reduce the ISO to 100. 100 is typically what you would be using if you were shooting something outside in broad daylight. I mean summertime, no clouds or anything, no shade or anything. And as you can see, you still get a big white blob. These LEDs are uh, powerful and as you can see, the light is still even. Um, to give you a better look, now I'm going to reduce shutter speed. I mean, sorry, I'm going to increase shutter speed. One four hundred of a second. Now, as you can see, once again, it's uh, perfectly even. There is absolutely no LED that puts out more light than the other. And that's exactly how LED works. They are non-linear components. Their behavior near threshold voltage is not representative of the amount of light they emit in nominal conditions. So here it is. Thank you for watching.